So let us add the box shadow to the box we have here. This one would should be of course the easy part. I will close the gradient. Okay, uh, here is the box, and again we are going to use the style dot box shadow, and then we will give it the value here. The value for this one, this is not any function or something like that. All you need to do is just write your function, your uh, code here. As you know, for the box shadow, the first value would be the horizontal. So we will have our value here. So we can write this dot horizontal. It should be plus and you should plus it with the pixel value. Then give it a space. Now you should plus it with another. The second value would be this dot vertical. Should be vertical value. And you should plus this one also with a pixel value. And then it should be also plus with the third value which is blur. This dot blur. And again we will add our plus here. Pixel then closing with this space here as well as here we'll continue the same thing for other one this dot spread and then we have our pixel with the space and lastly we have this dot color so if I save the file and refresh our page here it should work just fine as you can see we have our box shadow here now we can change the color to see the effect if I change it like this it should work just fine as you can see now we can just blur it more and it's working just fine and you can increase the spread as well as the vertical or horizontal something like that so that's it I think this is very easy next up I just want to apply the same box shadow for the text here the text you have, we will use the text shadow for that one.